On today's video we have the new Pioneer DEHX 7800 DHS. So stay tuned, we're going to tell you all about it. Okay, so let's unbox this and take a look at it. Sounds like a great idea. What do we got? So we have the new microphone. This is the new Bluetooth microphone in a blue shiny bag. Yep, power plug. Yep. The bag of screws. Bag of screws. The remote control. And... Owner's manual. Yes, cool. And a warranty card. And the warranty card. Can't forget that home so important warranty card. So, All right, let's pull it out of the bag and we'll take a look at it. So we have the antenna input, the Sirius XM input, which is the SXV300. We have the power plug input. We have the microphone input. We have the steering wheel control input. And then we have the rear RCA, the front RCA, and the sub RCA input. These are all two volt inputs. The amplifier has, the factory amplifier has 50 watts by four. Let's spin it around and take a look at the front. All right, so when the unit first powers up, it's gonna ask you to set the clock. So you can go ahead and spin the dial here, hit enter, pick your minute, click enter. Now it's gonna tell you speaker mode. Do you wanna do, click enter, do you wanna do standard, or do you wanna do network? Now 99.9% .9 of you want to do standard. We will have a video out on network mode explaining how and what it's for. Let's just pick standard for now. Click yes. And we're done, we'll click yes. So now the unit is ready to go. It's gonna start the demo. So a little bit about the face of the radio. It is a detachable face. Click this button right here, it'll come off. Click it back on. This particular radio has two lines of VGA LCD display. So you have a top part here and a bottom part here. If you go into the menu and go to illumination. You can choose the color. You have dual zone uh, color adjustment. So you can go in and pick red and then you can change the display color. You have 210,000 colors to choose from, so you can definitely match it to any color you want. You have dimmer control. So this unit is packed full of sources. I mean, it'll do tons of stuff. It has a USB jack on the front. It has an eighth inch jack on the front. It's also got HD radio. Okay. Do you know what HD radio is? Yes. Do you think they know what HD radio is? It's two stations in one. And it also has better sound quality. Yeah. But let's show you how to use it. So let's take a look at that. We'll talk about some more sources. All right, so what you want to do is your tuner controls are down here. So you can tune to a station. And then you'll notice up here it says HD. And then over here it says HD1. Now you have a display button here. This is going to allow you to switch between what's going on on the face of the radio. So for this demo, we're going to go ahead and put it on frequency. It makes it easier to see what we're doing. So now what we want to do is hit track up, and it'll switch to number two. Now what that's going to give us is a totally different station than what we were listening to before. We can make it a preset by press and hold. And we can go back to the other station. And then if we want to, let's say we want to go to that preset, go ahead and click on it. It's going to say linking, which is it just switching over from standard to digital. And now we have a totally different station. If you'd like to know more about HD, you can go to their website at myhd.com and see what's available in your area. So a couple other sources we have are iPod, if you plug in an iPod. You also have Pandora control. Now in an iPod, you have to plug in the USB if you want control on the radio. Uh, for Android, you can do it over Bluetooth. Source again, you have Spotify control. And there again, works the same way. USB or Bluetooth for USB for iPod and Bluetooth for Android. App control. Uh, this is for the ARC app. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then you have auxiliary, which we've covered. Bluetooth audio. Now, Bluetooth audio, you can play any music source you want through. So if you want to play Pandora, you want to play Spotify, 
you want to play uh, iHeartRadio, you can go ahead and do that. What it's basically just going to do is give you track up and down. So you can go to the next track. You can play music off any phone that you have. So whether it be Android or iPhone, it'll play over with Bluetooth audio. So now the other nice thing, since we mentioned Bluetooth audio. So this one have dual phone pairing? Yes, it does. It does have dual phone pairing. So what dual phone pairing means to you and I is that if you're one of those guys that has like a work phone and a personal phone, you can pair, you can pair both phones to this radio so you can switch between what music source you want to listen to. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So if you hit the phone icon here, right now we're playing Mr. White. Hit the phone icon again. Now we have Nando's phone, which happens to be Fernando's phone. So now we can play content off of his phone. Obviously, Bluetooth isn't just for music. No. It's for phone calls. And that's where dual phone pairing really shines. Because if you do have that work phone and you have that personal phone and you're driving along and you get a phone call on your work phone and that's not the one paired to your radio, you can't receive that call. You got to pick it up. And you got you to do one. Oh, yeah. No, hey, what's it. going on? And now you got Bluetooth right in front of you. That's kind of silly. Yeah, you're right. So now it doesn't matter. If you get a phone call from either phone, it'll go ahead and switch to that phone and allow you to take the phone call. So awesome. it, it auto switches. It's really cool. Now, one nice thing about the Bluetooth in this is it has wideband speech recognition. What is that? It means you get double, double <laughs> the phone sound quality as you previously had. Uh, they like to refer to it as going from AM to FM. There you go. You pay for one, you get two. There you go. <laughs> All right. It also has Siri Eyes Free for you iPhone guys out there. How you do that? Let's take a look. So press and hold the phone button. When do the Cavaliers play again? Looking for the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers face the Warriors in Game 6 of the NBA Finals on Thursday at 9 p.m. You can also use it to do things like make phone calls. Call Fernando. Calling Fernando Lopez. So you get the idea. Siri Eyes Free can be pretty pretty cool. Helpful. Yeah, very helpful. Now for Android guys, you do also get the ability to use your hands free. Uh, you just have to make sure it's set up on your phone. One of the hot new features in this year's DEH higher end radios is the new audio pack. The audio pack. Tell That's, me. Tell me more. Yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. All right. Sorry. Sorry. No. What, what? You don't know what movie that Grace. is? Grace. Grace, baby. Yes, sir. All summer long. HBO. Gosh, <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. Sorry. Back on track. Let's look at the sound pack, shall we? Yes. All right. So get to the sound pack. Go ahead and hit the enter button. And we're going to want to scroll the dial until we come up with audio and then click enter. So the great new feature this year uh, is the EQ. In that it has, of course, you have your presets, which is super bass, powerful, natural, vocal, custom one, custom two, um, flat. We'll go to custom, hit enter. It is a 13 band EQ. This is new this year. Uh, basically, what they've done is they've taken the audio pack that started in the NEX model radios a few years back and it's finally trickled all the way down to the DEH CD players. So now you have a 13 band EQ. Pick a frequency and you can adjust the volume of it. Right. You have balance and fader. You have subwoofer on and off. You have subwoofer normal or reversed, which is out of phase. You have speaker level. Now what's cool about speaker level is you can go in and adjust the speaker, the volume of each speaker. So you have five points in your car, front, rear, sub. You can adjust each one of those. And why that is important is because you have seat positioning now. You can go in and tell it where you're sitting in the car. And when you do that, you're going to activate the time alignment. Time alignment is a really nice feature that allows you to go in. And we'll switch initial. Oh. Go custom. Enter. And now you can tell it how many inches your head is away from each speaker. So you can do that for each speaker in the car. And then once you've done that, you can go back to that speaker level and adjust 
is you'll notice it's pre-adjusted the level of each one of those speakers. Now this will give you the ability to go in and adjust each one for the time correction because sometimes Pioneer's auto doesn't necessarily get it right and you want to adjust that. So now you can come down to crossovers. This is going to have a front, rear, and sub crossover. So you can go and hit enter and you can turn it on and then pick your frequency. And then you can pick your slope. You have 12, 18, 24, and 6. So you can go 6, 12, 18, 24 dB per active slope. The other semi-cool thing that Pioneer came out with for these radios is the ARC app. That's right. What it allows us to do is plug in a phone and control the radio from the phone. Just phones, no iPads or anything like that. And it is limited use on Android and full use on iPhone. Uh, <laughs> Depends on the Android phone. But anyways, we're going to give you a quick demo of what it will offer for you. So let's check it out. So ARC is done through the USB plugged into the bottom of the phone. It's an app that you download. Right now we're in FM mode. So we have our presets listed across the top. If we swipe up, we have our sources that we can choose from. So you can do Pandora, your CD, uh, music on the device, Spotify. So we'll stay in HD. So if we come here to the bottom corner, we can get into the general settings. Now in here we can do a couple things. We can adjust the audio. So everything that we just showed you in the audio is also listed here in the SRC app. So if we'd like to make an EQ setting, we can go ahead and do that. We can also come over here and turn the subwoofer on and off. We can adjust the phase. We can adjust the subwoofer volume. We can adjust the bass boost. We can set our loudness control. We have three-step loudness control. We can adjust that here. Oh. You have your automatic level control for levelization of your pre-recorded music. You have your balance and fader. And then you go in advanced settings. This is where the phone plugged in is really nice for that time correction in, in crossovers. So you can go ahead and pick where you want it to be, and then you tap on each individual one. Now what this will allow you to do is here's your speaker level, here is your high pass filter on, and here is your frequency. Here's your slope, you can adjust, and then here is your inches for how far you are away from the speaker, your head. Then up here it's going to give you a little graphical representation of it. And right now it's blinking in front. All right, so we can go back. And we can repeat the process for everything. Here's your subwoofer. And then when you're done, go ahead and X out of that. You can also adjust your appearance there. So you can adjust the illumination. So you can come in here and do colors. You can change the color of the display simply by touching the color. You can change the color of the buttons. So this is a really nice user interface for setting the radio up, not having to use all the little knobs and dials and push buttons on the face. And then when you're done, you can just go back. And if you come over here, let's see, tap the music. It's going to go ahead and load the music from your phone. You can scroll sideways and it'll change the song. If you scroll down, oh, not that far. If you scroll down, so you can pick a playlist. Here's your music. You can go ahead and pick something. Then it'll go ahead and start playing that. If you want to go to the next song, just swipe over and go to the next song. All right, so what else you got? Um, thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Well, that works too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, as usual, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video, or at least you learned something from it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you like our videos, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. Otherwise, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you later next time. Bye.